Now that's a good truck. It's been sitting here all summer and all winter. About three quarters of the tank, it's running, no smoke, no nothing, mechanical N14 Cummins. One of the, the, the last good Cummins motors. And this old piece of junk started right up. This is a mechanical DT-466. Neither one of these trucks have been started all winter long. They fired up just like nobody's business, like you shut it off just 10 minutes earlier. You can't beat the good old mechanical trucks. All right, so this is my tanker truck. I've owned this thing for, I don't know, years. <clears throat> and I've sold the tank off of it because we're gonna take this truck apart. It's got a really good N14 motor, but the cab is just horrible. Um, the floor is in bad shape with the tank's mount. It's an all steel cab. Hood's beautiful. Um, interior is still pretty good, but the uh, frame is doubled and it has some rust jacking in the back that's pretty troublesome. So we're gonna take this tank off. This is a perfect example of another one that you know a DIY guy has put together. We have one mount here. This is not really a mount. It's just a uh, something to keep it from going sideways and as it flexes up and down on that flexible mount. There's supposed to be a mount there, a mount there. This one here, that's got a crack in it or it's broken. There's supposed to be a mount here and the same thing on the other side. But as you can see, that mount's been cut off and this one up here has been cut off. So we're taking it all off the truck and uh, we're gonna be lifting it off here. Hopefully it goes well. We don't have anywhere really good to grab it. There's nothing to grab a hold of. Um, it's not gonna be the easiest thing, but now we'll figure something out. Well, we made it just in time. Snowstorms rolling in, but that came off pretty good. That was pretty uneventful. So the reason that I sold the tank off of this is the frame itself and the chassis on this truck is in really bad shape. Uh, this is all rust jacking. This is the outside. This is the inside liner. This is all rust in here. You see how bad it spread it. Um, the frame on this truck and the cab is just in awful condition. You see this about two inches thick of rust right here. This is probably the worst case of rust jacking I think I've ever come across. Um, it was so bad that uh, the one cross member there broke. They replaced this one. Um, but the, what happened was this was originally a road tractor with a sleeper. You can see they plugged the rear of the sleeper up there. And uh, when they put that tank on, they put an inside liner in this frame and stretched it slightly. This is where the front axle used to be. So they just moved it, I don't know, maybe, what is that, 
18 inches or something. Um, and then uh, they had to cut the cross members because the liner went inside. And as you can see, that one's cracked back there. But, um, you know, as far as the, the back half of this isn't really attractive. It's got a Hendrickson. This is a, uh, yeah, look at that rust jacking. This is a E4360 suspension slipper spring. Um, not not horribly uh, attractive to many people, that's for sure. But uh, the truck runs so good and drives so good that um, it's worth it for the motor and transmission for sure. And I'll, I'll probably be able to get rid of some of the parts from the cab and the hood and stuff like that. But I don't want to take it apart until we're ready. This is probably the worst place right here. Let's see how bad that rust jacking is. But the unfortunate thing is, I mean, I mean, good for us. It runs very, very good. The hood's in good shape. Um, just the cab's so bad, it's not worth it's not worth reframing. The truck just doesn't have that value. Boy, look at that snow coming. This is a nice stainless steel toolbox that we'll be able to uh, repurpose. We'll probably cut that off of there and make some new mounts on the rear of it or something. Let's see what we can come up with there. That's a really nice big box but you know the the cab itself you can see i got my tank it's just uh bungee corded in there i understand this truck hadn't been on the road it's just enough to get it here to take it apart that's all we needed but it's got really good tires all the way around and the cab's in good shape as you can see the rears the unfortunate thing with the rears is they're tall 22 fives or 24 fives i'm sorry and i don't run 24 fives on anything um so they're not they're not a tire that we'll be using we'll probably sell these off they're not really what we need but you know the truck itself runs pretty good the cab's just gone you know it's got some nice tan door panels the seats in good shape the dash is still in good shape it's not all broken up we'll, uh, here you see daylight down there but yeah the cab's just bad but when I bought the truck I bought it for parts I mean it, it just runs so good it's just hard to hard to part with you know and uh, I don't remember if the jakes worked on it or not I think they're disconnected They are, but anyways, nine-speed manual. You know, just a decent old truck, but it's just a shame. It's just a real shame it's so rusty. But whatever, we'll sell off the parts we can. Look, the steering wheel's not even cracked. It's dirty, but it ain't cracked anywhere. That's nice. I don't think the uh, I don't think the speedometer works right, so I wouldn't trust that miles anyway. But, yeah, decent old truck. Anyways. It sounds good. The brakes were, the brakes were really good. Good old beat, uh, mechanical N14, man. so you would really see any blow by.
motor actually sits a little crooked. But yeah, good old truck. So one day we'll start taking this apart. We we'll use all these parts for something else once we get to it. Won't be now. We gotta we got other things we gotta take care of. But hope you guys enjoyed watching and seeing how bad rust jacking can get up here around Ohio. Northeast Ohio where the rust never sleeps. Thanks for watching.